Hello, in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to attempt to show you how to add a vignette to an image if Photoshop is going to play ball with me because it's not being very friendly this morning. Um, I've got this gorgeous photograph of my granddad that I'm going to be working on today and the first thing I've done is unlocked my layer. I'm now going to drag this layer into the duplicate layer um, option which is a little square post-it note that looks like it's got its corner turned up. So I'm going to show you a couple of different options here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to select our elliptical marquee tool and we're going to click and drag a selection over our image. Now the easiest way to move this selection around is using your up, down, left, right um, keys, arrow keys. That's the easiest way to move that around. Now when we're happy with that, at the moment this is the area selected and we want this outside area selected so we just simply go to select and inverse and as you can see our little marching ants are now all of the way around our outsider image as well so this is now the area we've got selected so I'm going to go to this little round circle which looks like a yin yang sign I'm going to click that and select brightness and contrast I'm then going to take the brightness right down now as you can see we do have a vignette and on some images you might want a vignette that looks like this. You can obviously do your elliptical marquee tool portrait as well as landscape. But what's happened is we've got a really hard edge. So that's option number one. I'm going to show you how we can soften that edge to give it a much more vintage kind of look. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the little dustbin in my adjustment layer because I do not want that particular vignette. So I've still got my elliptical marquee tool selected but up the top here in your control panel you can see you've got feather. Now this is in pixels and we are going to select, I'm going to start with 150. For an image this size it's probably about right, you'll get to know but you can play around with this, keep deleting your layers, change the pixels, 100 works, 250 would work on a larger image, it's entirely up to you but this is where you would play around with that. So I've set this to 150 pixels and now I'm going to do my marquee tool again and I'm going to use my arrows to move that around and finally I'm going to go select an inverse so we have the correct part of our image selected. And now I'm going to go to my adjustments layer and brightness and contrast again and I'm going to reduce that and can you see what's happening? So the, it's a very, very soft vignette now on this photograph and I really like the effect. Um, it may be that you don't want this to be a, a kind of oval shape, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the rectangular marquee tool to do the same thing. But this is how you add a vignette to an old or any image. I'm just going to delete this one again as we did before. Now. I'm going to go to Rectangular Marquee Tool and as you can see that's taken that pixel straight back down to 100. Next time you go into your um, elliptical mar marquee tool you're going to have 150 pixels selected so you need to make sure you change that to zero if you're not doing um, something where you want that soft feathered edge. So I'm going to I'm going to do um, I think I'm going to do 100 this time and we'll see what this looks like. Now this time our marquee is going to be square. So I'm going to make my selection and as you can see it rounds the corners off which is quite nice. Again we need to go to select and inverse to have the outside selected. Same thing, go to our adjustment layer, brightness and contrast and we're going to reduce that. So this has given it a bit more of a border kind of effect um, and we can take that as dark as we like. You can also lighten it, which is quite nice. But we're going to go darker. So there is our vignette. And again, don't forget, when you use your marquee tool next time, reduce these pixels to zero, because otherwise you're going to go, ah, what's happening? I don't get it. Um, but that's what you need to ensure, that you've got the, the feather edge set to what you want. If you want a nice hard selection, so let's just put this selection in now. And this is not going to work what I'm attempting here because I'm on my brightness and contrast layer. I'm going to go back to this layer that's visible and I'm going to go to edit and stroke and I'm going to choose a black line this time. 
and OK and then um, Command or Control D to dismiss that and you can see we've now added a border as well as our darker edge. So you can see how you can start building up some effects on images. Um, obviously if this is a colour image it's going to do the same thing, it's just going to darken the colours around the edge. So you can give any image a really nice border, play around with this, it is good fun and it's really effective. Don't forget to save as, if you're going to print you need to save it as a JPEG. If you want to keep this image to carry on working on it, save it as a Photoshop document. I always tend to save as both. I like to have the option to go in and change images again if I want to. So that's the end of this tutorial, I hope you found it useful. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.